Hey everybody, today we are with one of the best natural light shooters in all of Los Angeles, Carla. You thought I was gonna talk about you? <laughs> I have the pleasure of introducing Michael Sasser to you, formerly of Denver, but now he moved to the big bright lights of Los Angeles. One thing that I have admired about Mike's work for the last few, it's been a few days, he is a wizard with natural light. And I'm really pretty terrible with strobes. You know, natural lighting is my comfort zone and I stick to it constantly, so, being able to hang out with Brett and learn a few things from him on how he lights similar shots. I'm excited to basically see the differences between the natural light photos and the and the strobe photos. One of the best things I like about this guy right here is not only is he an amazing photographer with natural light, but he answers questions from so many people without even blinking. And so I just want to give you a big shout out for, for being inspiring in that sense. Um, I think we need to share more. That's my little soapbox. That's all I got about that. Thanks, man. Was that awkward? No. <laughs> uh, everything I learned, I pretty much learned from somebody else. So I feel like it's almost like my duty to share it with the with the next next round of people. Well, today I'm going to have him show you three amazing tips on how you can improve and step up your natural light game. You're crushing it now. Oh. Beautiful. Manly. Okay. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I want to photograph with really flattering light. Whenever I wanna photograph somebody who's uh, really lighting up their face, maybe get some catch lights in their eyes, that's the purpose of the photo. This is the setup. So what you wanna do is as the photographer, you wanna put your back towards the window. Now this is indirect light, which means the sun isn't actually coming in. The sun isn't actually gonna be hitting her. Uh, so you wanna put your back towards the window and then you're gonna have your subject face the window. Okay, now you're gonna take that shoulder and you're just gonna close up a little bit. You're gonna like hide a little bit from me. That's perfect. Okay, so you can see uh, her face is being beautifully lit by this window. We are going to, I love that. Okay, that looks really gorgeous. Do one facing me just a little bit more. Right there. Perfect, okay, throw your hair all the, to the other side. Love that. So that's tip number one. So as a photographer, you're gonna put your back towards the window. You're gonna have your subject with their nose facing out towards the light to get them to have that nice, beautiful light. That's actually the whole tip. Uh, one thing that I like about strobes is what happens when the sun is going down and you no longer have that light coming from that window. I'm gonna show you how you can replicate that look with a single strobe. On this wall here, we have a gray, dark wall Obviously no light. If you look at her face, you have shadows. So an easy fix to simulate that window, pop a strobe, aiming at this, now that becomes your soft box or your window. Okay. Work that right shoulder a little bit more. Good. Hands hug. Eyes back at me. Ooh, you looked away. There. One more shot. Good. If you want to emulate the natural light look and glide the wall, big softbox. So tip number two is to shoot with backlight actually. So in this scenario, instead of it being light source, you, subject, it's going to be light source, subject, you. Perfect, I love that. I'm just gonna back up here. That looks amazing. Okay, that's pretty much, I mean, that looks incredible. Okay, so that's tip number two. So if you wanna create drama in, in your images, if you wanna have more contrast, that dark and moody look, always put your light source on the opposite side of your client. Light source, subject, you. Okay, so for tip number two, lights from the front, natural light. When I have the back lights, I want a soft rim or soft edge lights. I'm gonna aim it at the wall, same position as the last shot, but now you're gonna have a rim come from the back for separation. Good, push that right shoulder forward. Face back to me. There. Tip number two, you can use lighting as an accent. It doesn't always have to be your key. Window light, key lights, back light, accent light, makes all the muscles pop. Good job. Okay, so this is tip number three. So when you're outside and it's super bright and sunny, I recommend that you shoot towards the sun. So our subject is going to be basically standing exactly where we are now. 
you as the photographer are going to be shooting towards the sun. The sun's gonna be hitting their back. <clears throat> the reason why we do this is a few things. One is actually we've got a nice reflector happening. This kind of white wall over here is bouncing back a whole bunch of light. It's making us glow really, really beautifully. It's also not putting circles under our eyes. Ashley agrees. Yes, of course. All right, let's uh, let's get some shots. That's perfect. Do like, since it's a little wintry, get like a little cuddly. Just kind of get like a little. That's awesome. Love that. This is gorgeous. Amazing. You want to see? Sure. Oh, that is super cute. Hey, I hey. love it. Okay, so that's pretty much it on, on shooting outside natural light. Britt, back to you, Britt. <laughs> Great job, Mike. He's got a lot of skill. Do you think it's pretty good? It looks like it, yeah. Don't say nice things about him. <laughs> We're gonna use the same setup, the same location. I'm just gonna bring in a strobe to act as a key. I'm gonna try to balance the key light with the ambient in the background. Ready? I'm ready, let's do it. All right, let's it. go. Perfect. Amazing. Love. We're shooting with high speed sync today. I still wanted to shoot at 1.2. If you don't have high speed sync, another option you can do is take your lens, put a couple of filters on it. You normally do an ND filter and a polarizer. Double stack it, you can still shoot at 1.2, 1.8. Just have your light on high power. Double stack the filters on top, you're good to go. All right, we ready to, we yeah. ready to finish this thing up? Or? Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, you're not gonna do it? Man, you're making me look like I'm Oh, are you doing it too? I was, yeah, I was, I I was doing a pose. It doesn't look like you're putting much effort. I got Asian butt, man, come on. <laughs> you know Asians don't have booties. I you do ain't Asian. actually. What are we trying to say? Don't be I'm just, I'm just repeating what you just said. <laughs> just because it's the truth, I don't mean it doesn't hurt. I hope you guys have that in the video too. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I love most about photography is even if I hate something, natural light, when I see someone that knows what they're doing and I see them do something and I pick up a tip or two, or in this case, Three, four, ten. You, you taught a lot. It makes me love and appreciate photography ten times more. I know it sounds corny, but I love what I do. Me too. Oh, oh me, yeah. me too. Yeah, yeah. Also, also me. Yeah, what I like about photography is you can put the same two photographers in the same room or <laughs> nook, outdoor space, patio. Nice word. Um, with the same same focal length and see two totally completely different things. So yeah, so I thought that was super cool. Thanks for asking me out to, to share some tips on this video. All right, that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for more information. Until then, I'll see you guys later. You gotta bring the energy, man. Like and subscribe, what's up? Do mine for me. Sure. <clears throat> All right, guys, that's it for now. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh, shit. Thanks for watching our video, guys, and like and comment and subscribe and, and comment uh, a couple times, and, and there's gonna be other videos, and how, how am I doing? Oh,